welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is progress and welcome to my youtube channel if you're old welcome back all right so today i'm gonna be showing you guys my life as a master's student i'm currently doing my mba in business administration and i'm super excited to show you guys what i do every day okay not every day but most times when i'm not working so today i'm not working and today is like a full day of homework research and basically just doing a lot of schoolwork because usually when i'm working i work about 10 hours in a day and when i come back from work i'm super exhausted and i just want to go to sleep so today i'm not working i'm off work today so today i'm going to be doing a lot of my homework you know grocery shopping and just making sure that my you know my schedule makes sense you know what i'm saying all right so let me give you guys a little background i'm currently doing my mba in business administration i'm sorry if my hand is shaking a lot and i'm already down three classes and this is my fourth class i should be graduating sometime next year i'm super excited for that so i have two laptops one for my homework and the other for research i'm researching on the same laptop that i um you know do my homework because of course it's slow and i just i can't it's just too much so um i'm gonna show you guys what it looks like so this is the first my first laptop this is a laptop that i use to you know check out the homework that i have as you can see um in week two the second week and this is everything that i have read here for that week i have discussions problem work walk through problem two problem three problem four i have a quiz as well it's the second laptop this laptop is the second laptop Jesus. <laughs> All right, so I have the first one and this is the second one. This is the one that I usually use for my research. But, you know, I kind of want to refresh my memory. I know that I can go to the cost material to get, you know, a, you know, definition and everything. I already know what it is, but I just wanted to Google helps and breaks everything down for me. So this is where I go to, you know, ask questions that I don't know or if I'm confused or something, I go there. So this is the second laptop and this is the first laptop right here. So I have two laptops that I use to do my I have my movie right here that I watch because I love watching a movie or a TV show when I'm doing my homework. It's just a way to just distract myself because I don't want to like feel like I'm dying because there are days when I come back from work and I have to like write a four page paper, five page paper or just do research on a bunch of things and so i just like you know watching my tv show and you know start doing my work it helps me you know what i'm saying it helps me do it i don't know i've been doing this for the longest time and it has been working for me even when i was in college and yeah so this is gonna be my life right now i'm gonna set up my camera right here i'm gonna be doing a lot of research because i have a discussion right now that i have to go through and this class that i'm doing right now is um, managerial economics and um i literally just started this class about last week this is the second week and yeah so let's get into it guys hey guys okay so like i said this is the first laptop that i use and this is my research laptop right here okay so my my like i don't i'm not doing my masters in class it's online because i have to work and make that money so i don't want to like I wanted a 100% in-class master program, but I just felt like I spent four years in college in the dorm without working or anything, and I don't know if I want to spend two years in the dorm as well, not working, and yeah, so I was like, nah, I just do it online, there's no difference, the, you know, I've already had that in-class experience in college, so there's no rush, there's no big deal. All right, so I'm gonna move the camera just a little bit closer so you guys can see um, what I'm doing, where I'm going, the my question because I have a discussion question. Um, you guys are gonna see it. And okay, so I'm gonna go to my discussion and show you what the discussion question is. So this is where I have all my discussions right here, and we click content. And so this is the discussion question right here. It's about opportunity to cost. If you were in college, if you're like a business student, or I don't even know, or an economic student or a finance student, you would know what opportunity cost is, because you know, of course, we learned that in college. Um, I know you guys have seen me using my phone over here. Yeah, I'm just showing you guys what the question is. So this is the question for the discussion, and this basically just shows uh, all the discussion for all the weeks, and it's up to what eight weeks. All right, so that's it right there. And this is the weekly contents. Like I said, the name of the class is Managerial Economics. 
and this is it right here blah 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 boring right okay so i'm in week two now this is week two this is it this is where you put your discussion right here and these are all the homework for the week and this is the quiz i think like every class every week you have um every week you have like a a, a, a quiz and a bunch of like homework you have to like go through blah 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 boring you know question or anything about opportunity cost if i don't know what opportunity cost is of course i know but if i don't know what it is i will just type it opportunity cost and it will bring it up for me when it brings it up if i have any kind of thoughts i would come over here and be like okay what's the question again all right i'm gonna read more on opportunity cost and I really understand what it is and yada 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 so that's about it. So I already answered the first question for the discussion. Usually the discussion, um, you don't want us to write in about 300 words. After writing about 300 words, you would um, respond to two uh, of your classmates' discussion posts. Make sure that what you're responding to makes sense. You know what I'm saying? Make sure you're writing something that makes sense. And you're to write this in about 150 words. Some professors don't care. Just make sure that you're, you know, you, you're putting something that is substantial, not just, oh, I like your review or um, I like what you said. You know what I'm saying? Just write something that makes sense. And usually would have to submit the discussion by Sunday and then the homework, the quiz and everything is due by Tuesday. So um, today is the end, like today's Tuesday, today's the end of the previous week's homework. Today by 11:59, and then the next week, this homework starts tomorrow, which is Wednesday. But since I'm not working today, I'm not gonna wait till tomorrow when all the homework and everything are already on there. I can just go and you know be ahead of everyone else, right? So that's what I usually do. But like I said, I'm already done with the first discussion. That's what I usually do. I like since I have four or five days to like play around. Um, I usually use one day for one thing and the other days for the other thing. You know what I'm saying? Especially if I don't have any, like if that week is really easy, I don't have any big three, four page paper to write, I just flex it out like that. So today I'm already done with the discussion. So I'm just going to chill out and just see if I feel like doing like the homework, I can do the homework. I mean like the word um, questions because you have like um, questions you have to like solve. It's economics is like you know part math right so you, you know you have things you have to solve and I have all my products down here I have my calculator I have my book I have my pen I'm ready I'm ready I literally just got this last week because I was like the last three classes I had were just write paper write a bunch of paper write four five six page papers you know what i'm saying so i didn't really have to solve anything so i literally had to just go buy this from walmart like last week because i was like bro this is a lot of calculation you know of course it's economics like i don't even know what i was thinking right so I, this is all that i have for this class uh, my next class is accounting and I'm super excited for that one because I've always loved accounting when I was in college Accounting was one of my favorite classes. So I'm like yeah, Something I can really enjoy doing right? So I'm not gonna start the assignment right now because I'm not really ready to take any assignments I usually have to be in like the assignment taking mindset for me to start any assignment because I usually like um, doing my assignment one time and just letting it go, you know what I'm saying? And uh, each time I take my assignment, I make sure that I get 100% each time, so I have to be like really ready, study the uh, course material, and just make sure that I'm 100% uh, I'm a, I'm a ready to take any kind of assignment. And most of the assignments you can take it more than once, you know what I'm saying? Like if you fail it, you can take it again, it's gonna be the same questions. But I, I just feel like that's just a waste of my time. So I just make sure that I prepare 100% to take that, you know, before I take that assignment. So right now, um, like I said, I have um, two homework. That is, the first one is a problem solving questions, just like math problems and um, like I, I, I wouldn't say simulation question but just like math problems and that's about 15 to like 20 questions and the second homework is 
basically the same thing. I realized from the homework that I did last week that the, the homework is, um, they basically take questions from the problem solving in homework. So, because I saw a few similar questions and it was easier for me to do. So I would basically make sure that I really study hard for the problem solving questions. Make sure that I get everything right so when I'm doing the homework, it will be easy for me. And then you have the quiz. The quiz, you can only take it one time. So guys, you see what I'm saying. So you think you have a lot of time, but you really don't. The quiz, you can only take it one time and it's time is about, you have about 45 minutes to take the quiz. So there, like there's no room for any kind of error. You have to be perfect. You have to study and know what you're doing. So um, if I studied the, the, the material, because of course each week has its own you know study material um, each own chapter that I have to study um, those are where the homework assignments quiz all of those are gonna come from so when I'm done with that I will do the problem solving question um, and then do the homework so my my schedule is um, like this right I start with my discussion because um, I don't know for some reason it takes a lot of research to actually do the discussion you think it's just 300 words but when you're actually writing it out you realize that it's actually a lot 300 words seem small because it's just one page um, or half a page um, but there's a lot you have to really put in quality work you know what I'm saying uh, because 300 words worth of quality information is better than a thousand words worth of just bogus stuff so I finish my discussion and then I start doing the homework because um, I, I, I don't know it has been working for me for the past six months that I've been doing my MBA so that's um, that's how it goes and then I'll take my quiz yeah but I'm not really gonna I'm just basically just telling you guys like a little you know overview of everything that I do you know when I'm not working of course, I'm not gonna be on camera doing my homework for two, three hours because it takes that long. It takes about two, three, four. Sometimes it takes it takes the whole day. Like when I think it was yesterday, I started doing. Oh, sorry, it was last week. Last week, when I did the um, the first week homework, I started watching this show on Netflix. It's titled Shooter. It's a TV show. It's a really nice TV show. You guys should go check it out has three seasons and I finished season two in I think one day one or two days it should be one day because I did um, my first week in about two days right and I was watching the TV show all through so it takes a couple of hours you know one episode is about 45 minutes so you can imagine me finishing one season in one sitting so it takes about four, five, six, the whole day. So um, when I'm not working, I usually make use of that time because I know that when I go to work, I come back, I spend about 10 hours, I'm super tired, I really don't want to do anything. So yeah, so basically this is my life as an MBA student. I'm not going to make this video long, it's just a little clip, a little overview of um, what I do um, when I'm not working. Like I said, my MBA program is online. It's not in class with or without COVID-19. It's online. I actually prefer online because it gives me the opportunity to do whatever I want to do. I can travel you know, with my laptop, do my homework. I can you know, work. I can move around whenever I want to move around. I don't have to wait for the school year to, you know, I, I, I don't have to wait for breaks in between the school year for, what uh, spring break fall break blah blah break Christmas I don't have to wait for those to break to do what I want to do what I want to do I can you know freestyle it and do what I want to do that's why I chose online that's why I chose online but but that's about it guys I'm not gonna take a lot of your time I don't know why my phone is I don't know why my phone is jigga, jigga, jigga. but that's about it guys I'm not gonna take a lot of your time this is basically my life if you want to do your MBA Go for it I'm doing it and I've been doing it for the past six months um I will soon graduate I, I, okay not soon graduate but I'm graduating sometime next year so I guess it's soon so graduate yay 
But anyway, this is my life, guys, and um, I hope you enjoy watching this video. I know it's a little bit boring, long, blah, blah, blah. Nobody likes schoolwork, but here it is. But thank you guys so much for tuning into this video. Really, really appreciate you guys every single day. I've been really busy. I know I've been posting a lot because, like, trying to juggle work, school, YouTube. It's a lot guys. It's a lot. If you're doing it right now, you can understand where I'm coming from. It's a lot of things to juggle at once. I work 10 hours a day. I have to still come back and do research, do homework, write four, five, six, ten page paper. I have to figure out what, what I want to do for YouTube. It's just too much to juggle. Um, I've not gotten to a point where I want to do YouTube full time because of course I have to start making a good amount of money. Before I can say, you know what, let me do YouTube full time. But I haven't gotten there yet. I know I'm going to get there someday. Um, but until then, this is the schedule. You know, when I got time, I post. But I'm definitely going to post because, of course, I know you guys want content consistently. And I'm lacking in that consistent area. But I'm going to try my best. But thank you guys so much for tuning into this video. I hope you guys liked it. Let me know, you know, what you're doing. Are you doing online classes right now because of the COVID-19? Are you um, in college? Are you in high school? Are you doing your MBA? Um, what do you think about going back to school in the fall semester with all the pandemic thing going on? Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. And thumbs this video up. Like, let me know what you guys think, like I said. And subscribe if you haven't subscribed. And I'm going to be seeing you guys next video. Thank you guys so much. And have a nice day. Bye.